Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Pulse.lk. We are at the Barefoot Garden Cafe with none other than Dot Dote. That would be Mevan, Hidayat and Sitija. Did I get that right? Sitija. Yeah, right. uh, we're going to ask them a whole bunch of questions, get to know about them. They're going to be having a gig very soon. Let's ask them about that as well. Uh, so, tell us about the gig. The gig's going to be on the 12th at Barefoot Garden Cafe. And we are planning to start it at 6, so drop by. Cool. Um, so Barefoot is where we are at the moment right now. It's actually a really wonderful place. Uh, I'm sure you'll get to see a little bit of uh, what the actual venue is going to be looking like. This is the the back garden looks cool, so you can imagine what the main area looks like. Um, so, if I'm not mistaken, Hidayat, you guys already have a video out, right? Yes. So uh, the only song that we've released so far is Gamana Letokotu Akhtepuna. That's available on YouTube on our page dot dote. So go subscribe, listen to the song. You like the song, you don't like the song, come for the gig, you know? <laughs> um, so these guys are going to be playing actually three hours worth of all original music. This is apparently their first self-organized gig. No other bands will be performing, it's only going to be them. So uh, tell us what that's, what's that been like, you know? How's that going? Mewan? Yeah, you say something, uh, please. Yeah, uh, so we decided to do our own concert with the whole pandemic issue and, and this is the first time we are doing a concert. And from the course to organizing organizing this event to like everything we are trying to do by ourselves. So yeah, it will, it's actually a good experience for us, like to host our own event by ourselves. Yeah, and it's quite fun to like bring in our own vibe itself with the whole event because it's our event. So exploring that is also super fun. Yeah, and let's see. So three hours worth of original music on the twelfth here at uh, Barefoot Garden Cafe. Um, tell us what are your plans for an album, uh, why, I, I think if I'm not mistaken you all are trying to raise some funds to record album, an album in the future, I mean recording is definitely not cheap and not easy, it's taking a lot of time and money, so uh, what's the plan for that, how many songs do you have like written for that, uh, do you have more than one album's worth of material, what's yeah, the vibe? Definitely, definitely. So we'll be playing most of the uh, catalog that we have okay and uh, in terms of recording next up would be next plan would be that to record okay. the songs that we have okay we'll definitely be picking out the best that we think that can go on the album and in terms of the gig why we thought we would do it uh, this way is because so that we can uh, we thought we would crowdfund this gig more than anything without just putting a price on our performance mm -hmm. and it's entry by donation and most of the proceeds will go to the album recording and then whatever we are planning to do next and then this is not going to be the uh, first and the last of us yeah it's just many to come it's not it's not the last one but it's definitely the first one that you guys are doing all on your own so it's going to be really exciting uh, personally i'm going to be here on the 12th to check it out as well um, Let's see, what else can we annoy you about? When did you guys start? How did you all, all come together? Do you all know each other outside uh, of music? We started quite randomly. Okay. It was uh, him wanting to start a band and then he met me and we were playing for a couple of years. But um, then we started, uh, we wrote about two, three originals and then we were like, okay, let's, this is like, we have something here. So let's uh, reach out to others and form a band. And then, uh, fortunately, we got Trial and Sitija, and now... Ah! Elephant in the room. So, uh, ah. thank you, sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> but this is interesting, so... Uh, the R-E-A-L Real Rifai is here, as you can see, in the flesh. Real. Um, the real one. Uh, unfortunately, he's going through a little bit of a tough time, I think, today. He's no, he's just shy, he just yeah, doesn't want to talk. No, he's shy, yeah. So, uh, so, this is the bassist, if you, if you, if you want to know. Um, he will actually be appearing like this, except uh, on that day there will be a picture a of base him on with him. the bass. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh yeah, this is actually quite of, uh, out of character, no? He's yeah, usually yeah. in a sarong, right? Yeah. Right. See, this is what happens. You need to turn up to interviews, then. Uh... <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, uh, how long have you all known Rial for? I, I think we've you and I we've known Rial for many yeah. many years. I played with Rial many years back was in different different projects and then Rial actually spoke to me about this band okay he sent me a couple of uh, phone recordings and then I listened to it I was like yeah this it sounded really good and at the same time I was into I was uh, 
I mean, I was playing in other band, okay. like rock and metal band. So yeah. then I thought I was take a different approach and maybe uh, go more into experimental stuff. And then these guys came in. Their lyrics were in Sinhalese, and then music is very local sounding. Okay. And then I was like, yeah, definitely I'm in, man. I'm definitely let's cool. do this. Yeah. Thanks for actually reminding me about that. So we were talking before about how you guys have come up with your own genre. because you guys incorporate more than one language into your lyrics could you tell me about that yeah it's not necessarily coming uh, coming up with our own genre it's uh, because we've been like experimenting and trying to find a sound that is our original sound uh, it gets mixed up and confused with so many genres out there and people come and they're like what do you play what's your genre and we find ourselves confused to even answer so we thought we'll just call it uh, dot and roll the dot and roll huh? that's the sound dot do te i like yeah. that i like that me me a video katha karanna ne he doesn't speak much does he cool cool yeah mukade yaar hamela ma he is always thinking about food dog <laughs> <laughs> you know that's a, that's not a bad thing to think about actually yeah, not at all yeah. not at all yeah. which is why it's not an issue food. is that why you got engaged recently so someone could uh, keep you well fed <laughs> 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 She's been feeding him for years. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, cool, man. Sorry. <laughs> oh man. Um, right. So, if in in terms of uh, how you see the future progressing, when do you think we're actually gonna get our hands on that copy of your album, of your maiden album? Mm. Next year. Next year. Oh, oh no. We are better one. So, uh, little. Alu basis kine koi ma? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, yeah. So legend has it that actually on the day of the gig there's going to be a weight behind uh, the photo so that it doesn't fall over and the music keeps continuing. Yeah. Um that's going to be so much bass. We're going to peg it onto the floor. <laughs> 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 Why did you guys decide to choose uh, Barefoot Garden Cafe? Any any space you just like the ambience. Uh it's just a really nice space and yeah. we are like we are free to do whatever we want in terms of creatives and how we want the gig to look and they are giving us that freedom. Cool. So it's just so easy to work with them, and uh, we like the vibe. It's yeah. it's nice. So there's only four of you, right? Yes. Yeah. So how do you do? You guys find that uh, you're able to produce a sound that you want to do with just the four of you, or do you have plans to get other people involved? Or do you plan have plans to get other music, mu- like musical instruments involved, or like are you guys comfortable in this unit where you guys are able to make that sound that's completely yours? We and are. As of now, yes, we are. I mean, in the future, we we have no idea how that's gonna sound. That yeah. We, we'll keep we we'll, we have kept it open. Cool. As of now, I think we are in a phase of experimenting with each other's sounds more than anything. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That's what happens yeah. most of the time in the practice phase. Real. Real apparently doesn't want to be part of this interview. So what we shall do is we shall uh, we shall proceed like this. Real, you can sit here on my lap and be comfortable. If you can see that. Yes, yeah, you were so saying. It's mostly. Uh, Mostly listening to each other at the practice space and trying to come up with our own sound. And yeah, <laughs> so that's like so. No, so uh, so rock and roll. What yeah. what else? What else do we have? Because dot and roll, I, I kind of want to delve into it. So you guys have obviously right, right. I've seen you all once yeah. perform at. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is White Horse, right? White Horse. That was the last gig. So this it was very bluesy. There was rock and roll in it, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I kind of got a little bit of a funk vibe as well, yeah. and then there was a little bit of a psychedelic vibe kind of going on with the effects that you guys were using yeah. the guitar and the vocals. Yeah. Um, am I missing anything? Is there more to it? There is a there yeah. lot of inspiration yeah. from um, the what you named, yeah. and then even stuff like uh, Baila and nice. like See, very local. Yeah. This very local vibe of storytelling, okay. or because Singer has that. Yeah, especially single is because most of our songs are single is. Yes. Yeah, it has yeah. this very expressiveness. Sindhu ki no geta mata kar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's very exactly. cool. Ah. Oh. And yeah, it's almost as if all the like the local music, international music that we've grown up listening to, we've taken it individually and yeah. then trying to create this very local personality and identity with it. Uh yeah, and with the language it changes definitely because we have songs in all three languages. Who writes the Tamil lyrics? Me. Yourself, and you sing them. Uh, yeah, you're obviously a singer. Cool. So, um, 
On the 12th, is there anything else special that you want to tell people? You want to kind of tell them that, you know, some extra message that I've probably forgotten to ask you? Anything? Yeah, so that music video we were talking about, yes, Gamaralt yeah. means Kotu uh, Aktibuna. Uh, so he might make a special appearance. Sure. We don't know. Let's see. Cool, you can ask him uh, questions. Yeah, you can ask him questions, you can chill with him. You win prizes if you get the... Oh, no, no, you are asking the questions. You win his attention. Yeah, right, that's right. a good you, uh, prize. That's a good one. That's, yeah. a good, that's a very good prize. So, I think uh, before we go, we're going to tell you a little bit about what you can expect in terms of what uh, the Barefoot Garden Cafe has to offer to you. So, apparently there's a killer deal on the beer. It's only 300 bucks a pint of okay. the keg, right? There we go. That seems like a steal to me. Hatanis um, dot, dot a. There's... <laughs> What? Say that again? No, what? Who said it? Who said it? So, uh, there's wine, there's beer available at the bar. Yes, if you are planning to uh, bring your own booze, uh, uh, please be ready to pay some corkage and also please be ready to donate to something that's a good cause. They're going to be recording and solidifying their music on a way that you can actually listen to it when you're home. So, contribute to uh, Dr. Dutte's uh, band fund to uh, record the album. Come down to uh, Barefoot Garden Cafe on the 12th, uh, 6 p.m., am I right? 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. You can catch uh, all three of them and uh, this printout of uh, Dot Dote. Uh, <laughs> three hours of completely original live music. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Pulse. Cheers.